on my nigga pocket glory nigga pocket glory what's up guys welcome back to the channel for those that do not know my name is alexa and in today's video i will be showing you guys five different things you can do with your wife beaters so this idea first started when i saw this photo and i was like well you can do that with a wife beater and i figured i might as well show you guys what else you can do with the other wife beaters because they're just going to be sitting there so here it is five mini wife beater tutorials okay so for this tutorial you will need a wife beater or you could use this wife beater or maybe this wife beater but really, all you guys need is a wife beater. I got these at Walmart for $6 and it came in a pack of six. The only other thing that you need are some fabric shears. This is probably the simplest tutorial ever. Okay, so let's get started with one of the more basic tutorials first. So what you want to do for this bodysuit is either grab a bodysuit that you have. You can grab a bathing suit or even your underwear. Honestly, any bottom that has leg hole openings. What you want to do first is lay it down so that you know how long you want your bodysuit to be. Once you're happy with the length, you can cut off any extra fabric. Then you want to take your tank top, fold that in half. And what I did was fold my bodysuit in half as well. That way I could find the half of that and then I placed that on top of my tank top and I just cut around where the leg hole was. Then you want to take the tank top, fold it in half again, but fold it in half the other way so that if this tank had side seams, those would match up. And then you just want to cut a deeper scoop for the front part of the leg opening. After that, you can turn your bodysuit inside out and sew a straight seam down for the crotch. Honestly, that is pretty much it. It was so simple and easy. I like this because it's fitted and basic staple, but it's still really stylish. Okay, so another really easy tutorial for this two-piece. What you wanna do is cut this bad boy in half. That's pretty much it, um, and then some other things. For me, I wanted the skirt to be fairly long because I didn't want it to be too, too short. So I folded it 17 inches up from the bottom and I cut that in half. This part is totally optional, but I've seen this distressed detail on knit and ribbed pieces and I thought that was pretty cool. So since it's so basic already, I might as well just add something to it. So all you have to do to make a distressed hem is you have to pull the edges apart horizontally and then you just pull the threads down until they slowly start to come out. You could cut the little strings afterwards or you can leave them. What I also did was kind of just stretch the whole hem all the way around. That way it gave it more of a wear and tear look. To finish this skirt, I just grabbed any white elastic that I had laying around from another project and then I just measured a piece that would fit the opening of the skirt. Then all you do is sew the ends together so that you make a big elastic circle and you sew that on top of the skirt with a zigzag stitch. So as you can see, I just used a basic zigzag stitch and I also distressed the bottom hem of the skirt. Honestly, I have no idea where I'm going to wear this, but I still thought it was a cool way to upcycle a wife beater. Okay, so to make the cross top, all you do is find the length of how long you want your cross top to be, and then you cut the side seams up to that length, cut across, and then cut all the way back down. That way you could take out the whole back side. Once you're done cutting, fold your tank top in half so that your invisible side seams meet, and then cut the center front. After that, you can leave your ties as is, or you can copy me and taper the ties. I just cut off the corners to make the ties somewhat a little bit cute. To wear the cross top, all you do is kind of wear it like a jacket, cross it over the front and tie it in the back. For the bralette, what you want to do is fold it in half so that your invisible side seams meet. Then you want to cut it like a regular crop top. 
Starting from the center back, you want to cut a straight line to the bottom of the armhole. Then working one side at a time, you want to cut around the armhole rib, starting from the back and working your way to the front. Once you reach the bottom of the front neckline, you can cut across and then work your way up the other armhole until you get to the back. Refold your top in half again and cut the center back. Fold in the bottom part of your tank top and grab both ends. Next what you want to do is make a giant knot in the middle of your tank top. Adjust the knot and pull as hard as you can so that the knot is as small as it can be. Then you want to take the two top straps, sew those together to make a halter strap. And then you're going to take the side straps and sew that down onto the top of the back portion. Once that is done, meet both ends and sew a straight stitch down the center back to finish up your bralette. Because the halter straps are not adjustable, it might be tight on some people. So if it is, when you're cutting around the armhole, just go a little bit past the bottom of the neckline so that you can make your straps longer. And last but not least, I made this lettuce, oh my gosh, I keep wanting to say lettuce wrap. I made this lettuce hem off shoulder top. So you're going to use the leftover fabric from your bralette, and then you're going to fold over and cut a third of that section to make your body and your sleeve panel. Cut your sleeve piece in half on one side to open up the panel. Then you want to do a lettuce hem at the top and bottom of both pieces. So for you guys that don't know what a lettuce hem is, it's that curly hem that everyone's been seeing recently. Basically what it is, it's just a zigzag stitch. Usually people do this hem with a serger, but unfortunately because I don't have one, I'm just going to use this method. So these are the settings I'm using. My length is 1.0 and my width is 5.0. So the way to make a lettuce hem, all you do is stretch your fabric while sewing your zigzag stitch to the edge. The stretching and the tiny zigzag stitch is what makes that curvy hem. Once you finish the top and bottom, wrap the sleeve around your arm to measure out the width of your sleeve and cut two pieces. Fold each piece in half, sew a straight stitch down the side to finish off the sleeve. Connect the sleeves to the body with a small stitch and you are finished. So after this tutorial, I have a little bonus one for you guys. So basically this top is just a crop top with a front tail and one way that you could wear it is a front knot or you can bring it back to elementary school and bring the tail through the front of the neck and tie it at the bottom. This kind of makes it into a plunging V crop top. Thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up my broken thumbnail eh. if you guys want to connect with me on social media all my socials are at the nava rose so i know i don't get to say this very often if i've ever even said it before but i really do appreciate you guys i love you guys all so much from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching my videos uh, no matter how awkward and weird i am on camera um, I really do love making content for you guys because if I wasn't sharing it on YouTube, I would just be sharing it by myself with my dog and my boyfriend. And how fun is that, really? They can't wear or make any of it. I wish I could give all of you guys hugs. I guess I could give you guys like virtual air hugs. So yeah, thank you guys again. Um, that's it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Over! Boy! Ruining my outro! Bye! Would you make my tutorials? Would you? I guess not.